All right, episode nine of Off the Tap, guys. This is the finale of the Christmas Chaos tournament that we've been doing. The four beer. Woo-hoo! This is the the Shiner Holiday Cheer versus the St. Arnold's uh, Christmas Ale, right? Yield Christmas Ale. Yield Christmas Ale. Oh yeah, dude. I don't know why I what just does that sound like. What does that Yield it's Christmas Ale sound like? You want me to remind you real quick? Yeah. Oh, so Ooh. crisp. And it sounds a little better. I don't know if anyone can tell just yet since Sean only said like four words, but it sounds better. Did we have anyone did we have anyone cast votes on who's gonna win this or no? Uh we had someone privately cast a vote for me. What was the vote? It was for ye old Christmas ale. All right. Somebody Let's think see. or or wants it to win. Um, vote will not influence me at all. But also, what was the other beer? Shiner Holiday Cheer. Why are you saying what was the other beer you're holding in your hand? <laughs> Someone had to announce it, okay? You know, you know what I'm oh, noticing true. about the the Holiday Cheers. We we touched on how like each different bottle or can is like either red, green, or white, right? But I'm yeah. gonna say that this bottle that I have, and I just noticed that Sean's is like this too. The big yeah. label on mine is green, but the top yeah. label is white. Yeah, mine too. Mm-hmm. Hey. You know, that's right. Match it. Match it. That's right. We all got green and white going on right now. I don't know. What is yours, Andrew? What what big label yeah, color did you get? Green with the white. Wow. I mean, I couldn't wow. get any more festive, you know? It really couldn't. Yeah. If you're not watching well, the video of portion festive. of it, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm rocking a uh, the good old Jelly St. Nicholas hat. Andrew's got yeah, so, a sweet so, sock well, tie on. <laughs> Well, you showed up wearing. He, so, for those of you who don't know, Rand, Randall shows up wearing a, a Santa hat, and, he, and he's, you know, I turn my camera on, and he's like, "Hey, you look good, but it's not very festive." So, then I see he's wearing a Santa hat, and I'm like, "Well, something must be done." So, uh, all I had in my closet that was Christmas festive because everything's in storage is a sock that has Christmas lights on it, and it says "Too Lit to Quit," and I figure, you know, this is a lit podcast and uh, <laughs> needed to be festive, so I put it on as a tie. You're probably also going to get lit throughout this podcast, so you know. Oh, I definitely will. That's I beautiful. Do. It is John, nice beautiful. Cool, you know? Yeah, you like my earrings? It's beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> I got nice. one, one, whatever this is, and then one star. I almost said a drindle, but I know it's not a drindle. Yeah, but they're huge. I don't. I don't, don't it, what is a drindle? The thing that people spin at Hanukkah. You mean a dreidel? Dreidel, there you go. Yeah. What is a dreidel, dude? It I'm not like Jewish, dude. Put, I don't know. It sounds like something you put on the end of a drill, dude. <laughs> Call yeah, me dude. uncultured, but I don't know what you're dreidel? talking about spinning something at Hanukkah. Yeah, dude, oh, it's wow. a dreidel. I thought it was just I thought it was just that candelabra thing. The candelabra no, cadabra. Yeah, I didn't know they spun anything. That's kind of weird. Yeah, it's you know dreidel. they've got some weird things. They spin something at Christmas or Hanukkah. They break a dish at a wedding. Like what? Yeah, and they wear those little hats too. Yeah, <laughs> the, the Yamahas or whatever. Then what is it called? Yamaka, Yamaka. A Yamaha. <laughs> yeah. All right. Better well, watch what happens. This is a Christmas party. Beer, gotta, I, what, what is the ABV on both of these? Because I always all forget. Right, all right, all right, all right. I know we've uh, talked about it in past episodes, but uh, you know, it doesn't hurt to retouch. Seven point five on the Christmas sale. That is a winner for me, right there. 7.5? Yeah. The Shiner's 5.4. Lame. So Christmas oh, sales considerably more. Really? Which one? It's like having another half beer. <clears throat> yeah. Which one are we trying first? Uh, I tried both of them already. That. Look, so there was a little bit of confusion on the, uh, on the end of the Brown residence. I was given one incorrect a beer i had to get that situated really quick <laughs> but we are back in Man. line we're good to go we had a little mess up on the assembly line yeah we had a little who's mess running up the, the shop line. over there seriously one of the elves so one of the elves brought of, santa's yeah, wrong beer exactly that's what i was just about to say you know i'm sitting here running the show with a santa hat and just you know my, my little elves are bringing me the wrong toys you know <laughs> cotton headed mini muggins <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I w- I've watched it like three more times since last week. Because I watched AMC, it for the first like... time this season. Really? Yeah. I haven't watched a single Christmas movie yet. Wow, you're lame. 
I've watched a lot. Uh, yeah, I know. I also don't have television, so you're the reason the That's slate doesn't fly, bro. So it's not like yeah. I can. It's just on, you know. I have to literally go to a streaming service and select a Christmas movie and sit down and watch it. Or you can just throw it on. Oh wow, like else that does. sounds like such hard yeah, it's work. It's a lot of work, oh, dude. God, that first world so problems. Like I have so to, I have to, I have to, I have to go sit, watch and watch it. I have to go sit in my bed, get my remote, click it, and then click it. And then click it, and then click it, and then I yeah. just sit there. It's pretty what difficult. What a nightmare, um, man! I know that's crazy that you can't even like sit there and watch it and like eat, you know? Or I mean, you gotta or... be, you gotta be totally composed and pay attention, dude. I I know uh, when we get to the movie of the week topic, mine was decided this weekend. I was staying in a hotel in Dallas, like overlooking the city, and, and uh, we're chilling in this king size bed, and it's just a beautiful room. And then I'm going through the channels, and I guess it was just comedy holiday movie night and they were playing i mean all the goodies all the goodies and so that's how i decided mine this week wow why don't we go ahead and get into it i guess i was gonna go first since y'all were roasting me last week for never going first for things even though i went for first for things in that episode but whatever uh, andrew wants to go first <clears throat> go well, i was gonna say i'd like random to go first but since we're gonna talk about <laughs> last week i have some uh feedback that was brought to my attention oh yeah oh yeah Oh, yeah, and some very valid feedback. Sean, what What's Night at the Museum movie were you talking about? I don't know, maybe the second one. Okay, all right. Well, that might be that might be acceptable then, because uh, it was brought to my attention that you were talking about Night at the Museum, which came out in 2006, saying that's the last uh, uh, Ben Stiller good movie, uh, when Tropic Thunder came out in 2008. Oh, did it? So. That's yeah. Crazy. So, <laughs> I, I did so, not think about that. I think that's a valid. I think that's a valid point from uh, Matthew, my cousin. Thank you for being a listener. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I just, I just remember. I think it's the second one where they, where they're like going outside and they're like chasing everybody through this like snow and there's like Christmas lights everywhere. I don't. I. I, I, I don't remember. I just, well, if you're talking about the second one, I'll, I'll give you some leash on that one. Oh, wh- whoa. Look, yeah. man, mm-hmm. now you're bringing leashes in. It was all about the, the mega stuffs first, and then, you know, the the whip, the ready whip on top of your hot chocolate. Now you got leashes into this. This is We're getting out of hand, Andrew. Well, eventually we're going to have to put a parental advisory on this thing. <laughs> we are. Yeah. <laughs> we are. We're definitely going to have to. Well, have you ever heard of puppy play? What? No. Yeah, I play with my up, puppy all the time. No, look up puppy play, bro. Uh, I, one of my favorite YouTubers did a vi- video on it, and like these people are like wearing leashes and like crawling around and like chasing tennis balls, and then they've got like, like a master, like Carol yeah, Baskins, no, like weird, weird stuff. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> dude. Yeah. You know what? Carol I actually Baskins saw. That with I actually friend. saw a video about that. This girl, this dude paid this pays this girl like ten thousand dollars a month to like walk around like a dog and like, like just do dog stuff and i'm like dude i will do it for five yeah i will do it for five i'll do it for three (laughs) (laughs) hundred (laughs) no i'm at three (laughs) dollars provided that you give me food and water which is you know you should not dog food and water though not not dog food and water though like what if they made you eat dog food well for being completely honest dog water is still human water so (laughs) <laughs> I'm gonna be okay with dog water, but you know, I don't know. I don't know. I drink Brita. I drink Brita, and Jackson oh, wow. doesn't get Brita. Oh wow! Okay, so. fancy. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that we were fine dining at this podcast. Dude, well, so what do you drink water out of? Ozarko plastic water bottles, you world killer. Well, okay. First off, I'm drinking right now out of a metal straw. So you know who's really saving the turtles? A <laughs> hole. Okay. <laughs> And second, uh, no, I don't know what brand of water I drink. If I'm being completely honest with you, I think turtles. When I know it's not Brita. When's the last time you saw a turtle? I don't know. I really <laughs> on Instagram a couple days ago. Exactly. Yeah, that was online. Doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, there's not many turtles, turtles over there. Willis. Turtles over there with the baby pigeons. <laughs> Just hanging out. Baby pigeons. You ever Are seen a baby pigeon? Extinct? You ever seen a baby pigeon? You never heard that? No, I've never. I don't know. The pigeons are like government spies because no, everyone's like, no, I've never seen a baby pigeon. Why is this not a conspiracy <laughs> theory we talked about in one it of the is. previous episodes? Oh, yeah, we should have. 
Oh man. Well, go ahead, Andrew. What is the movie? Go for it. I guess I'll go. Yeah, I guess I'll go with my beer now. Uh, not my beer. Okay. Uh, my movie. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow, that's seven point five percent. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. No. Uh, so my movie, I think I'm going to have to go with the night before. The night before just, Christmas. No, uh, just the uh, night before with uh, Seth Rogen. Uh, oh, and Mr. Gordon just Lovett. Lovett. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and uh, the other guy. I, I don't think I've ever seen that. What? I've like caught five. I've caught like five minutes of it. I know what you're talking about, though. It's it's a it's a it's it's a like Christmas Joseph, movie that Joseph features Jordan a Levitt's significant like, amount of drugs, yeah, and drinking and partying. Miley Cyrus sings in it. Oh yeah, it, and she comes in with Wrecking Ball, and every time I sing louder than the TV. It's lit. <laughs> Is it almost <laughs> too, lit too lit to quit? <laughs> if you want, if you want, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you if you watch the movie, you'll get the quote that I'm about to say. You can, you can sing to it. You can laugh to it. You can cry to it. Mm-hmm. Perfect song. Oh, wow. <laughs> is wow. it? Isn't it like? Uh, I think I know where that was going. <laughs> Joseph Gordon Levity like keeps reliving the same night like over and over and over again, like Groundhog Day or something. No, that's not it. No. <laughs> no. I think you're thinking no. about Happy Death Day. But you know, no, I've never seen that. He could be thinking about Happy Death Day. He could be thinking about the. Um, uh, I think I was thinking with Tom Andrew Cruise. Or... What's the one with Tom Cruise where the name changed? Where it was like, in End of Tomorrow or or something like that, where he's fighting the, like the aliens in there. That's a good movie too. Yeah, that's a good movie. I like no. that one. No, what? No, and then, but then it changed to Live Die Repeat. Sharknado. The name of it changed to Live Die Repeat. Yeah, they changed the name. I don't know why. It was really crazy. When? One of the first times I've ever heard that happen in history. Huh? When did they change the name of it? I don't know, but I bought the DVD and it's uh, Live, Die, like, Repeat. Like post-release, they changed the name of it? Yeah, here. We'll, we'll solve this with a simple Google. If y'all want to go ahead and start yours and then we'll, we'll come back effect. to... Uh, Mandela effect. Dude, we're not getting into that. That blows my mind <laughs> too much. Uh, I'll go ahead and go because I've been thinking about See, this look, actually. Well, well, here, look. So here, I don't know if you can see my phone. So I Google Edge of Tomorrow. Yes. I Google Live Die Repeat and Edge of Tomorrow comes up. Wow. That's weird. So yeah. Wow, so Google like, search engine that finds stuff based on no things that are well, close to it. No. It's Edge of Tomorrow marketed as Live Die Repeat Edge of Tomorrow. Oh, so it was just an a name on top of the name. I Live that repeat edge of tomorrow, tomorrow I repeat die. I don't know. Yeah. This is I hate when people do confusing stuff like this. Like we were at a we were touring apartments this weekend, and it was the ash at the branch, but on online it was showing the branch, but then you had to on maps it was showing the ash, and then like I don't. It was a nightmare. It was yeah, a that, nightmare. That just sounds absolutely confusing. Yeah, it's probably harder than watching Christmas movies on Netflix. Yeah. And doing nothing. Else it was. <laughs> it was very difficult. Uh, all right. Well, I'll go ahead and say mine. I've been thinking about it all week uh, because I've also been like, man, I've already said really, three really good movies that I really enjoy watching. Uh, but I'm gonna go with Polar Express. Ooh, I love the Polar Express. Yes, that's a good movie. I feel like I should have done something classic like that. That's a good movie. Whenever I was like ten years old, my my parents gave me The Bell. Oh, dude, that's so tight. Yeah, they That's gave so me tight. the bell from the, the movie, and it was amazing. And uh, and I got the the really nice book and a freaking bell, and it made the sound too, just like you hear in the movie. You know, like in the movie, it doesn't sound like a regular bell; it sounds like majestic almost. Yeah, That's how this bell sounded, bro. Maybe it was actually your dad Santa Santa's sleigh's bells. Maybe, maybe I think it came from the reindeer, though. Right? Am I right? Did it come from the reindeer? I don't know. Uh, that, movie, that movie sucks. I think it came from like the harness. You suck, bro. <laughs> you he said. Wait, hold on. You don't like the Polar Express? I was just kidding. Jeez. Dude, we hot, honor the oh, flag. hot chocolate. We honor the flag, and you crap on it when you don't <laughs> like Polar Express. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh man, that movie's a classic, dude. I mean, you can't. First of all, just Tom Hanks. You know, anything Tom Hanks does is an instant classic. But. 
that home i love that thing that movie man it, you, and it always you about cons- it always makes me happy whenever the hot chocolate scene comes up man nah oh that's it when that's they're over. dancing Go, yeah train, that's yeah it's might, fire it's might as fire. well be might as well be snowing on christmas eve in texas you know what i mean dude that's if i was gonna be a server if i was gonna be a server that's gonna be me i'm gonna be doing that you oh, know yeah. oh yeah um, but if you want to talk about conspiracy theories, did y'all hear the conspiracy theory that um, Tom Hanks got COVID because he's a pedophile and they wanted to cover up uh, him being on house arrest, so they did COVID? No, I don't even. Want, I, I don't, I don't heard that to, conspiracy. I theory? don't even want to bring that conspiracy theory to light. If I'm being honest with you, if it's going to put any kind of shame on Tom Hanks's name, I love Tom Hanks. Forrest Gump. Yeah, I, w- I want to watch that movie on my deathbed. You know. <laughs> Yeah. Like, <laughs> and, as, and as the movie ends, like the, as soon as the credits roll, you just flatline and you fade Saving, peacefully off. Yeah, well, well, no, actually, I kind of, I kind of want to. When I flatline, I kind of want to see the scene in Saving Private Ryan when the guy picks up his arm on the beach, <laughs> you know. And that's when I'm like, eh. <laughs> I don't know if I want to really be watching a movie when I flatline, but okay. <laughs> I know. I just want to be uh, maybe you know. Making love to my sweet, sweet wife. That's a good way to go out. That's a great way to go <laughs> yeah, out, actually. Go out like blue and uh, um, old school. No, old school, yeah. yeah. No, man. The Can we just talk really quick about how those hot chocolate servers on the Polar Express, though, definitely worked at Sonic at some point in their life? They did. And they were, they had and to. They, were they were definitely rollerblade waiter, waiters, too. <laughs> like, when they applied to that job on Indeed, it said experience at sonic is a requirement yeah it was necessary in fact, <laughs> yeah, two to three years for you to wear rollerblades or roller skates it's like sorry, hey not roller blades, roller looking, skates. For, looking for some voice actors must know how to rollerblade <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and hold a tray of food at the same time <laughs> yeah. well also you know what i want to do i want to get as good as with a hole punch as that man you know what i mean oh yeah you know, with the swiftness <laughs> Yeah, dude. The and he just cuts the worth of leaving your freaking golden ticket. So swift and accurate, man. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so Sean, we've got what you, what you got for us. Yeah. So I was I was trying to remember which movies have been said. Uh, Save your Christmas movie. Are dude. you having to Google this? No. That's how unfestive you are. That's I'm how unfestive you are. Uh, Andrew, you're wearing a sock as a tie. <laughs> too lit to quit. You know what I mean? You know what? I keep saying that like it's a bad thing, but really, you're just being innovative, if I'm being completely honest. That's right. This is going to be in style in two years. Thank you very much. Probably. I started the trend. You probably did. You, you ever seen a knit tie? It basically looks like this. <laughs> it's a St. Nick I've never tie. Seen one. <laughs> hey. Ooh, <yeah. laughs> Really it's just Christmas lights, though. But that's okay. So, Sean, have you have you have you found your movie on the internet yet? Well, I know it. I know it is, but I don't know if we'd said it yet. Uh, we'll let it? it rip. We'll let you know. I was I was gonna say The Grinch, Elf? but I thought we had said that before. <laughs> well, yeah, Andrew said The Grinch last week, but it yeah, depends week, on what yeah. Grinch you're talking about, because he's talking about right. the live action with Jim Carrey. All right, Iron Man three. That's there. Come on. Well, now we're just being blasphemous. Here. It's a Christmas done. movie. It done. says it right here on Google. It is not a Christmas movie. <laughs> it says it right here on Google. No, we're getting wet. Look, man, we already agreed that Paul Blart was a Christmas movie. Okay. We're going to digress and let the, the populace have Die Hard as a Christmas movie. But Iron Man 3 is not a Christmas it's movie. Not. I was it's saying it says it right here on Forbes. No. Number two Christmas movie of 2013, Iron Man 3. Okay, well. Well, they, Forbes said it. That's true. Do they, yeah, they, uh, you got to respect it. Forbes puts me in their 30 under 30. Then I'll believe that Iron Man 3 is a Christmas movie. Oh, my God. You know how cool that would be to be in the 30 under 30? Yeah, that's hey. I, if only I could be like a self-made mil- millionaire like Kylie Jenner, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, whatever, dude. Whatever. <laughs> if I can only get a, if I can only get a small loan, <laughs> if I can only get a small loan, loan for a million dollars. <laughs> yeah, they're not. Just yeah, I started. President. I started Globo Gym with a small loan from Earl <laughs> <Cheryl> Goodman, <laughs> senior, of a million dollars. Then I bought Average Joe's right out from under them. Those stupid <laughs> idiots. 
Dude, no you know what my favorite Iron me. movie? You know, you know what my favorite Iron Man movie quote is? No. What? From Iron Man Two, and this kid he goes, this kid's talking to Tony Stark, and Tony Stark's character is perfect for this quote. And the, the kid goes, "Yeah, the last time I saw my dad uh, was, you know, a long time ago. He he went to the store to buy a lottery ticket, and he must have won because that was eight years ago." And, and, <laughs> And, and Tony Stark goes, "Which happens? Dads leave. No need to be a pussy about it." <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a dickhead, dude! Oh, uh, man. But you know, in all honesty, I know we've already said this one, and we've been picking on Andrew for it, but it's probably Elf. It's Elf the best, dude. It's the best. Yeah, it is. It, uh, yeah, we're we doing recommendations. I thought we were doing favorites. Hey, no, 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 just another recommendation for the week. Okay, Welcome to the dark side. Uh, Iron Man 3. Watch that one. We're not. We're not. <laughs> All right, whatever, I'll give it to you. Just watch Iron Man 3. It's, <laughs> it's the lowest tier of Iron Man movies, but it's the number two Christmas movie of 2013, so yeah. check it out. Is this the level this podcast is on now? Is this the level? This is where we've what? gotten. This is on the level of Iron Man 3. <laughs> we're nine episodes in and we're calling it quits. You know what? Like, <laughs> yeah. no, look, listen, go. I'm gonna give one out for Sean since he won't since he won't do one. Uh, watch Scrooged. I hate that up. movie. I, uh, <laughs> just kidding. For, have you ever even seen it? I've never seen it. No, I was just crapping on the recommendation. What? Oh wow. I've okay, well, it. it's better than Iron Man three, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> I forget his name, man, and it hurts me that I'm forgetting his name. But he's in um, he's like the main guy in Groundhog Day, where you were just talking about the other day. Bill Never Murray. seen that either. Bill Murray, yeah. Bill Murray is the main character, and he's like a TV uh, executive. Who's Bill Murray? Like, Shut up. Ghostbusters? Uh, I'm joking. I'm joking, bro. <laughs> I'm going to choke you out with that sock, bro. Watch your tone, okay? Watch your tone. <laughs> Can I watch? <laughs> okay, well, now, it, look, man. Hey, as long we're, as if you, if you on, do that, we'll just call it dog play. <laughs> yeah. They're a puppy that's, that's what I was getting at. Wait, um, wait, I got one. I got one. Bad Santa. Oh, dude, I haven't even seen that one on TV this year. Usually they play those every year on like FX or something, and it hasn't even been on. Billy Bob Thornton. I've never seen it, but I've seen the trailer, and it, it makes me think it's the shittiest of shitty movies. Oh, hey. they're horrible, but they're hilarious. Number one Christmas movie of 2008. Wow. <laughs> it was a it was it was better it was a better christmas it actually than came Tropic out 2003 Thunder. oh never mind yeah it actually That's came out 2003 yeah well this bad santa too there was a second one though too was yeah it? the second one had a, a little fat kid i remember seeing the trailer for that one too yeah hmm. he was a, well he was in the first one too i think ah uh. but um no they're pretty good though you should watch them recommend it's like just it's in the first- like the it's in the well, not not necessarily, but kind of in the same tier as like Fred Claus. Have you ever seen Fred Claus with Vince Vaughn? No, I think I have. I've never seen it. <laughs> I think I have. Is there a reason I haven't seen it? Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. it's one of those. <laughs> it's where kind it's of like, a lower it's, tier. Yeah. It's a lower tier of Christmas movies. Yeah, and it's also a lower tier Vince Vaughn movie. If I'm being completely honest. <laughs> And I it's love like Vince that. Vaughn, so I hate whenever you have to say that sentence because yeah, I know. Vince Vaughn has been phenomenal, you know? He's it's so like the winter awesome. warmer of Christmas movies. Yeah, exactly. It's, you know, it's still worth trying, but, you know, maybe not the best. Hey, don't talk trash about the winter warmer, dude. Three of those beers got, got me uh, feeling hey. pretty good. Hey, don't talk shit about Total, okay? About what? Don't talk shit about Total. What's Total? God, this age this is lost to the generations now. The first yeah, this went over my head. The first bro. generation of you two kids has gone. Okay, I'm the well, last one. If I I am the oldest out of the group, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so you, you never can seen, shove that you never right seen, where it came from. <laughs> you never seen that yet? You never seen Tourette's guy? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen Tourette's guy. Yeah. A lot of it, I, I don't know if I can say a lot of stuff on the podcast, but yeah, probably not. We should probably refrain from saying most of it. Hey, Sean, find the original Tourette's Guy video and send it to me. because It's been so long since I've seen that, I'd probably laugh my ass off. Yeah, bro, that probably came out the same time as Bad Santa. <laughs> probably. Maybe probably. earlier. Maybe before. We're not going to do... We weren't doing favorite movies, Sean. We were just doing 
movie recommendations, but we are going to talk about... And then he about, hit us with uh, Iron Man 3. <laughs> yeah, Iron Man 3. But we are going to talk about what our favorite Christmas movie character is. So if you watched last week's episode, you know we did the the uh, worst Christmas movie character. But this week we'll be doing our favorite. So, Sean, you got one for that or no? Yeah, Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> I knew, I, <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that too. <laughs> Little cheat. Uh, favorite Christmas movie character is gonna be probably. I don't know. I don't watch Christmas movies. Wow, bah humbug. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Okay, um, Ebenezer Scrooge. That's my favorite one. Well, there you go. That fits you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, you probably mm-hmm. played that in your school play back in the day, didn't you? <laughs> probably. He probably was. He probably won a Grammy for it too. <laughs> look, it's not my fault. It's not my fault, Randall. He look, won his look. Grammy before uh, before Leonardo DiCaprio. You, you know I guess that was an Oscar. Since maybe? we were like maybe eleven, was, right? Right. Dude, yeah, it's you know Oscar. Since we were like eleven, right? When yeah. did you ever come to my house and we had Christmas decorations up? Never, literally never. <laughs> exactly. You see where I grew up in. You would only ever have one Christmas tree up in the. In Bro, we the had a tree room. that we got from Hobby Lobby that was a half an inch tall. <laughs> and we put all the presents under that. That's true. Yo, well, at least you got ornaments for earrings on. That's right. Yeah, but you know those ornaments definitely came from the fiance, not from him. No, yeah, these are actually. Cause... I actually took these from the attic in my mom's house that I found in the first. You don't box. support Christmas. We found that out this podcast. You freaking grunt. I love yeah. Christmas. I just got to get back into the spirit, dude. I've gone freaking 23 Grinch, years bro. without celebrating the Christmas. Okay. So you're a Grinch. Dude. You're a Grinch. <laughs> he said, I got to get back into the spirit. Well, you just got to get into the spirit at some point. I, no was, I was, I love Christmas when I was a little kid. But then Christmas everyone just. You loved Christmas because you got gifts, that, bro. You didn't love Christmas for the right reasons, homie. No, yeah. I did. But as soon as I turned 10, everyone decided to freaking you didn't love put Christmas up shop right and just throw reasons, everything in the attic, which is beer. Yeah, right. <laughs> I had to invite oh, my Jesus parents over to my house like that, for Christmas you know? this year. <laughs> you, well, yeah, I don't doubt that. Y'all never even put a wreath on your door, bro. Dude, I know. I remember literally one year I tried to give your parents a wreath out of our garage <laughs> because there was nothing on your house. Dude, I know. Not a single light. I was like, bro, y'all our only so Christmas light were a solo porch light. <laughs> Literally, they didn't even replace it as a colored either. It was just a straight yeah. white white light on the, on the board. <laughs> well, you couldn't have put a red one up there. We might have got some unexpected visitors. <laughs> <laughs> got to be careful with those red lights. No, you got to be careful with the colored lights. You got to no red ones. No, no red, no blue, only green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Oh man. All right. Well, well, I think that. Uh, I'm probably going to wind up stealing Andrews, but my favorite Christmas movie character is definitely Buddy from, from the Elf movie. Buddy the Elf? What's your favorite color? <laughs> Dude. Oh, I mean, the, the funniest part about it is like the commercials that they put out on TV whenever, because AMC plays it like every other day at 7 o'clock or 6 o'clock or something. And the commercials they put out were, <laughs> when he's in the store, dude. <laughs> And the manager yeah. is like, all right, guys, 10 o'clock tomorrow. Santa's coming. Santa! Santa! <laughs> I know him! Yeah. I know him! Dude. <laughs> oh, it's, it just blows my mind every time. I laugh at it every time. You're not Santa! And then, yeah, you're not Santa. <laughs> you sit on a throne of lies. <laughs> and then when he's just then in the bathroom. The candy cane forest. <laughs> he's in the bathroom <laughs> listening to... Uh, Zoe Deschanel, which also makes that movie a fantastic movie because she's in it. Uh, she's listening to her sing and singing with her, and she's like, she sticks her head out and goes, get out! And he just freaks out and runs into the door. <laughs> oh, oh, man. No, but that that remake that he did of the store, whenever he redid the store, built the Lego thing and had the snowflakes all around. Oh, yeah. When he he made that store, store. look like fire. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, it wasn't obviously him, but yeah, you know. Is it is it AM... AMC, is it the 25 days of Christmas? Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah, like, so all month up until Christmas, they show, like, a different movie? Dude, I mean, it's that... not a different one. They just played the same movies over and over again. Do they really? 25 there, days, yeah. There are so many great scenes in that movie. When he's playing hopscotch on the crosswalk, when he's eating the gum, when he has the world's best coffee. 
Yeah. All of those scenes are fire, man. Like that's a great movie. So the best, the be- I mean, the best scene in my opinion though, is the, when he freaks out about Santa. Cause he <laughs> just the way he cuts him off, and the way no. the manager looks at him, the manager looks at him like, you are freaking crazy, dude. <laughs> no, the best scene is when he springboards from the couch. To, the kid's like, how do I put the star on top of the tree? And he springboards from the couch onto the tree. And <laughs> falls over. That's a good scene, but it's not my favorite. Andrew, if you could give me an approximate percentage of how much of that movie you could quote, what would you say? Well, just like any other uh, movie that I love, all of it. Uh, 100%? All right, tune in no. next week. We'll be doing a full <laughs> read-through of the... Uh... <laughs> uh, let me know. I'll email you an entire Elf screenplay. I'll send it to you, and we can read along. You, yeah. actually, didn't, you actually didn't steal mine, though, Randall. Really? I thought that was for sure going to be yours because it's all you talk Buddy about. The, Buddy the Elf is my favorite like happy Christmas character. Okay. But my favorite character overall from the same movie is his dad. Really? Yes, because he's like so scroogey about Christmas. And then I feel so empowered when the when the like the sleigh won't take off from Central Park. And then he like his son, the younger son gets on to him. And he starts singing really loudly, and then the sleigh takes off and flies over him. Yeah, I just that mo- that moment just like gets me, man. Andrew sitting on his couch in some sweatpants and some fuzzy socks, watching that movie, just bawling his eyeballs out, dude. No, 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 no when he did, not the first, the first, he, he, he watches it happen and he fist pumps. As soon as <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. Just... That's what it is. That's exactly what happens. I'm sitting there. I'm like, yes. Yeah! <laughs> it's just like Tiger Woods would have happened. Just like. Yeah, yeah, I hit you with hot the club and everything, bro. Just, right when that happens, just, <laughs> just shooting whipped cream in the air everywhere. It's throwing hot coffee all over the place. Just spraying syrup all over the room. Yeah, which yeah. is so. Sean off like is this episode very seemingly reminding me of that character? Yeah, the scrooginess of it. Yeah, just like he doesn't freaking have any Christmas spirit, bro. Yeah. Hey, the only Christmas spirit on him is, is I just don't watch Christmas movies. Hey, all I'm saying is that uh, Andrew's sock tie has more lights on it than Sean's house ever did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying. Boom roasted. Never. <laughs> you know what used to give me the Christmas spirit every year was putting up those freaking Christmas lights. Yeah. Like for your dad. That's what used to get me in the Christmas spirit, but now that I don't do that anymore, I gotta find something else that I haven't found Dude, that, that would put me out of the Christmas spirit. No, I like putting lights up. I just don't like taking them down. I don't like doing anything with lights, bro. They're a pain. No, I think now you just sound like a Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It sounds like lights. there's an earthquake going on in Andrew's house. I hate Sorry, lights. that's me getting another beer. Oh, wow. Round oh, two. great. Round two. It's those, it's those plastic beer sixers, you know, that are just like a pain to pull out. Let me ask you, which one did you get as a refill? Oh, you had to get two more. You had to get one. Of yeah, each. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm the only one that takes this podcast seriously. I noticed the rest podcast of the going one, well. one of each for the whole podcast. Like, congratulations. You had two beers. Wow, dude. Wow. You, yeah. Why don't you drink beers? I, 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 I do a minimum of four. I do a minimum Uh-oh. of four. <laughs> why don't you Red drink beers out of a straw? And then, you know. Red and white. Wow. Sean left because you upset him so much. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Well, I here's why I don't drink mine out of a straw because I don't want to run my dishwasher and waste precious drinking water. Why? Why would you have to do that? Yeah, but you're gonna you're flush the, the toilet. Water. You're talking about how you're saving the turtles by using another <laughs> straw, but you still have to wash it in the dishwasher. Don't, I don't you? wash it. I just keep using it. No, I'm just kidding. I, wash it. <laughs> I clean it. I clean it. I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. This is the round two sound. Well, it sounded good at first, but we didn't get that last click on it. That was breath. Discord sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Just like last week, we did the worst gift we've ever gotten or received. Dead goldfish, bro. That was the funniest <laughs> story I've ever heard. A dead goldfish and a toaster, bro. It takes the cake, dude. It takes the cake. <laughs> but this week, we're doing the best gift we ever received. Good toast. Um, Randall, go first since you never do it. All right, I will. The, I think the best gift that I ever did receive. Hey, no, was... Randall, Randall, excuse me, Andrew. From now on, you must address him as Santa. Okay. No, okay. no, 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 no. You Ranta. must address him as Santa. Ranta. Ranta. 
<laughs> Ranta Claus. All right, Ranta Claus, you go first. Yeah, I think the the best gift I ever got was when I did actually get the iPod the next year for Christmas. It was nice. glorious because I freaking loved it and I used it all the time because I was a skater boy back then, man. I was listening. Did she say see? Did she say see you later, boy? There was no one that ever was around to say see you later, boy. Unfortunately, but which iPod? <laughs> <clears throat> it was the it was the first ones that they released colors for. It was that one of the nanos, the iPod. Not well, shuffle. Oh, the little square thing. No, 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 not the. Not Did it have the a screen? Ones. It had the screen on it. It wasn't I think it's the, the shuffle. No, it wasn't the sh- the shuffle touch. was the square one. No, iPod oh, Touch can... is the one that's like. No, it iPhone. wasn't. It wasn't a full screen. It wasn't a touch oh. screen, but it had like the screen on it. I think it was the oh. iPod Nanos, like when they released them in colors. Got you, had, dude. Like, that's classic. Ones. That's and a throwback. I, yeah. yeah, dude. And I got a gold one, the like Ooh. yellow one. It was freaking sick, nice. and I used it that's all fire. the freaking time, dude. And it was really cool because uh, one of our other good friends, and go go ahead and give him the old shout out, Cope Daddy, Caleb. Uh, he wanted or he he hooked me up with some Fantasy Factory episodes that he had bought on Apple, like on iTunes or whatever, and we loaded them onto my. No, iPod. he didn't. To... He got them from LimeWire, dude. <laughs> okay. I don't even think you could download shows from LimeWire. <laughs> but that was the classic move back then. No, but he he would let me uh let me download them and watch them and stuff. It was, I don't know, it was really cool. And then uh yeah, I skated back then, so I I used it all the freaking time, all the time. Mm-hmm. It was great. Probably the greatest gift I ever got. Dude, I miss those days sometimes. Uh yeah, I, well, you know. Randall's pretty skate. good. I could skate. I couldn't do anything like super. I was more of a rant, like a, like a park skater, you know, like, like on ramps and stuff. I liked to like ride the half pipe and all that kind of shit, but I never really did. I was never really like super good. I had balance. That's all it really was. You know, I, you know, I'm going to learn how to kickflip before I die. <laughs> yeah, Dude, I never I learned I, how to kickflip. I only ever landed like three of. I was like three for four thousand. I could pop shove it. I could pop shove your lights out, dude. But I could never kickflip. I really <laughs> wish. I really, really wish I could have been there when you successfully landed a kickflip because that was probably like oh, dude. you were sitting there. You're like ah! the crazy part. <laughs> the crazy thing is that I landed more varials in my life than I did kickflips because yeah. I was so much better at pop so shove it. How much I know. It's basically basically a pop shove it with a kickflip mixed in. Yeah, with a pop shove it, where you spin the when you do a little where your board three sixty or one eighty one eighty. There's a one eighty and a three sixty, but the typical one is a you know where you just like pop the tail down and spin it under you one eighty and land back on it. Spin it flat and land on it. You ever play with a tech deck? No. Well, I play with tech decks, but I couldn't do any tricks with them. Dude, tech decks were the the shiz back Mm -hmm. in the day. (laughs) <laughs> you know you're in Bro. sixth grade and you've got a tech deck dude but <laughs> yeah rare like, ones <laughs> dude that was yeah, that was like our generation's awesome. fidget spinners oh yeah for yeah, sure dude. tech decks used... were the the stuff man yeah my dad used to hook me up with some sweet tech deck skatable things like one, <laughs> one, time, one time he did a uh he did like a uh sink replacement for somebody like he put in a new sink and he brought me the old sink and he was like here i figured this would be cool for your skateboard things <laughs> and i was like bro hell yeah this is like skating dude, in a bowl great, dog my man my man randall was skating the perfect bowl from some <laughs> bro, new sink dude like, real, dude. and it was a just porcelain put, sink too dude you it just put legit. some uh just put some tape over the uh over the drain hole <laughs> yeah, slide no, right over it what was that, what was that really it? good uh skateboarding movie that came out so it had some dog in it. Lords of Dog Lords Town. Lords of Dogtown. Yeah, dude. I would watch that on my PSP. Oh yeah. I watched that movie that at least twice a year dirt. every year. Dude, that thing was freaking, that was a good movie. I wouldn't watch freaking that. Freaking blasphemy, dude. What's that one skateboard movie with the dogs in it? For real. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, dude. there's Lords okay, of Dogtown. This is... There's also the documentary of Dogtown and the Z Boys, which is even yeah. more classic. Mm, okay, well, I haven't but seen that one. I don't think. The, we're going off topic. It's the actual people from Lord, like it's the actual people that Lords of Dogtown is about talking about all that stuff. Well, see, I, <clears throat> you know, this is where you're. I'm going to catch judgment. I did not live in a gated community, but I was kind of like a gated community boy. I rode a ripstick. I had a ripstick too, dude. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh, wow. Well, okay. So there's no judgment. Sean had a ripstick too. I'm pretty sure. So no, I never owned a ripstick. 
Skateboard oh, die, dude. <laughs> I would go hard on the ripstick. We'd ride the ripstick to the boys' house, dude. You'd do the ripstick uh, wars. We're like, hitting each other, trying to knock each other off. There's one big difference between a ripstick and a skateboard, and then I'm going to pass it over to Sean so he can keep, keep the topic going, okay? Yes, the amount the, of wheels. Well, yes, no, but the big difference <laughs> between a, a ripstick and a skateboard. I think that was a valid answer. <laughs> is the thigh burn that you get. Whenever, oh, yeah. whenever you're skateboarding, the thigh burn you get from your pushing leg is significantly worse than any kind of thigh burn. Yeah, dude, I would just get my iPod shuffle and ride down the street watching P90X on my ripstick. Like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like I never I never skateboarded, so I just had the ripstick. And then a couple like six months ago, I tried to longboard for the first time because I could never skateboard. I could never figure it out. And then uh, I, I finally tried a longboard, and it was fire. It makes me wish I couldn't yeah. skateboard it back in the day. A, you ever rode a penny board? No, but that no, seems like that'd be the cool. Pennies, too. <laughs> penny the, board, the pennies, the pennies uh, were pun intended the pinnacle of my high school. Oh, my high nice. school memories, dude. Ooh, did you ever dude. wear penny loafers on them? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I feel like it was double almost penny, bro. It was double mandatory. Pe- that's penny squared. Dude, it's okay, this pen, it's, it's, it's pennyception. If we're being completely honest, <laughs> <laughs> this isn't gonna sound. This isn't gonna sound that fast because we're all used to like riding in cars. But back before like any of us could drive, bro, I got a video. <laughs> Randall's got a video of him doing like forty-five miles an hour down a hill and just eating shit at the on, end <laughs> on, on a penny board. board. Dude, yeah, that sounds honestly, like a nightmare, bro. Have you it's seen like a penny board, somewhere. bro? Andrew, they're like a foot long. Yeah, yeah, they're tiny, <laughs> like. Well, and that's why I said that sounds like Bro, a nightmare. Okay, but here's the one, thing. he's on concrete, but two, okay. like, I've done that before on a snowboard mm-hmm. and hated it. So this guy must okay. have been in severe pain. So I was going pretty fast downhill on the penny board, okay? I, I did eat it. I ate it into grass, though. I, I got my way onto grass, not concrete. But the craziest thing about it is I was wearing freaking flip-flops, bro. Flip flops and chubbies. <laughs> he never chubs, stops bro. the flop game. Never. No, he doesn't. I'm telling you, bro. I, I wore flops Dude, everywhere, man. Randall took that penny board and drilled the flip flops to the bottom of it. It's just all he had to do is slip his feet in. It's just like a snowboard. <laughs> I just slip. Slip off the roll. Dude, every freaking every child skateboarder's greatest enemy dude the freaking speed wobbles man yep that's what it was oh, the funniest God. part about it was like right after i wrecked at the end of the video there's like a maintenance worker on a golf cart that just drives right <laughs> yeah by. didn't even check <laughs> right? he's just like stop he was like god just another one of those darn kids <laughs> he well, just drives by and steals your penny board and keeps going <laughs> see, yeah see that's <laughs> the thing like i feel like people kind of ha- like it sucks because, like, when skateboarding was big, right, everyone always had a negative connotation to skateboarders. Like, if they're riding around your parking lot, they're going to trash it and things like that, right? Well, like, your snowboard, when you go snowboarding, like, you and you fall like that, the first thing you hear is, like, someone could be on a ski lift, like, 30 feet away from you. You hear, Yo, I'm okay, a giraffe. Bro. Wait, what? You hear, you, you, you hear, you okay, bro? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's asking like if you're all right and if you fall on a skateboard everyone's like fuck that guy <laughs> yeah. that's facts, dude, dude. That's facts. Then, oh man and then and then every every public place just started putting those little stops like those little things on the rails so you can grind on the rails and then they used to put they started putting those things uh you'll see them on ramps a lot like uh with the, the bumps divots. The, the, yeah, like the divots. The, yeah those oh, god they did yeah, they did. But but I feel like I feel like eighty percent of skateboarders were just people, just like me and Randall. They were like kind of <laughs> kind of all right at it, but like also kind of <laughs> shit. You know, like we couldn't do anything on the skateboard, but we like yeah. we were just doing it anyways. And then you had the ten per, ten twenty percent of people that were doing like kick flip nollies, dude, straight onto a rail, grinding down and smashing some old lady in the face with a skateboard, and they ruined it for everybody. <laughs> smashing <laughs> some old lady in the face. Just yeah, that's true. Whacking a Karen with a skateboard, and then now we all just had to pay for it. Yep, that is true. It is very true. Um, yeah, hard times, dude. Hard times. Yeah, Sean, what was your favorite gift? Oh, I got a bunch of them, dude. Uh, but I, I'm gonna have to. We're on the topic of skateboarding. I almost said it's skateboard, but it's not gonna be that. Uh, 
No, but that always was a clutch gift for any, any it was, dude. birthday, Christmas, whatever. Chop a hundred bucks and you were golden for a year. Like, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You talk about skateboards. Um, Maddie's Sean's fiance's stepdad, man. He's got all the skateboards in his garage. Oh yeah. Really? That's it's pretty like tight. Three walls full of skateboards. That's awesome. Uh, wow. I'll yeah. probably say it's going to sound nerdy, but probably the PS4. Really? No, no. I got it. I got it. I got it. I know exactly what it was. I think I know what you're going to say. Hit me. I got it. A Nintendo GameCube that came with one disc that had every single Legend of Zelda game on it. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> Greatest Christmas <laughs> gift ever. Yes, dude. I still have it. And still, it still yeah. works. Yep. To this, Well, you have my GameCube now. I have two. <laughs> two I have two GameCubes now. <laughs> because your your lid stopped shutting on yours. <laughs> yeah, I that's the only problem. You, wrote, you wanted to play that Zelda game so bad, you brought it over. We had to set something on top of the GameCube so that the lid was yeah, bro. <laughs> I had to put three game CD. I had to put three game like cases with CDs in them <laughs> on top of my GameCube so the lid would stay closed so I could play the game. Yeah. I respect uh, the ingenuity. Exactly. This, this I've had it later, since I was though. six, so, you know. <clears throat> Commitment. Yeah, the GameCube was a classic one. I don't remember if I got that for Christmas though. I think that was a birthday present for me. But the GameCube, gift I ever nah, the GameCube man. changed my life for gaming forever. It did. No, so Star Fox my, Adventures, dude. You want to uh, talk about being nerdy, bro? The two things I was gonna say. Super Mario Sunshine. For my for my 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 greatest mm. Christmas gift was the first one was when I got the Xbox 360 and Call of Duty World at War. Changed my life forever, yeah. dude. The Xbox the 360 is like ever. I was like, I was like 12 was or 13. That was a birthday present for me, though. Yeah, I was like 12 or 13, and I got this game, dude, and I was having the time of my life. I'd invite all my friends over, and we'd play this thing, or we'd go to my friend's house, and he had the big big TV with the big like box on the back side of it. Like It was a big 50-inch screen, but it had the big box on the back of it, so it stood out oh, from yeah. the wall like a ways. And we'd play Call of Duty on that thing, man, with that Xbox. I remember when that thing got the Red Ring of Death, and I was, like, heartbroken. Dude, oh, yeah. I never uh, got the Red Ring of Death, bro. I was you got one lucky. of the lucky. You got yeah. lucky, dog. It's still, but, actually, um, to this day, still run. My brother has it. Well, he might have. He texted me, like, two weeks ago and was like, hey, you want your Xbox back? And I was like, nah, not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you've had it for works. 30 years, and now you want to give it back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The great, the, I think the greatest gift I ever got for Christmas was the experience of this. Dude, I remember it clear as day. I go to my Aunt Kathy's house, and we're hanging out there, and my Uncle Tyler, <clears throat> it was his Nintendo 64, and he was at college, and I went upstairs in his room and played GoldenEye for the first time. Dude. GoldenEye was the one of the greatest video games ever. Game. For the Golden first, I, I played it for the first time in his room when he was away at college. I was upstairs for like four hours at this Christmas party. My mom was getting mad at me, yelling at me to come downstairs because I was upstairs for so long. Dude, I was playing GoldenEye and literally lobbing it, dude. dude. I, I it was the best experience I ever it's, had. Have you seen those? Have you seen those memes recently where it's like me coming downstairs to my family, like all socializing in the kitchen? He's like, "Oh, he finally came out of his room." That was all <laughs> of us on every oh, Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. When you get like that sweet game, the new game or the new console or whatever, you just oh, well, that's what we talked about it. last week. It's like you can't give me a new game and a new console and expect me to be out here. Like yeah. <laughs> Well, also, but work. now, but nowadays, you actually can because you have to download the game and everything. So you're like, <laughs> you, as a parent, anyone, any parent that's listening to this right now, and you get to a point where you're giving your kids games and stuff, just give download them the game, <laughs> give them the game, and then go. All right, I expect you back down here to hang out with the family for the next hour. In like five download. minutes, when yeah. you start the download. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Little Johnny's getting download speeds of four megabits per second. He's, <laughs> he's got to hang out with the family for the rest of the day. Got to hang out with the family for the rest of the week <laughs> while they're in town. Parents, the parents yeah. downgrade their internet in the month of December just so that that yeah. happens. Dude, Dude so, hey, that's a play as a, as a parent. I don't, if you want your kids I don't to remember, spend time. I don't remember who it was, but there's like this quote from this movie critic and they're asked like, what well, if you could have like one wish or like something, if you can go back in time, something like that, like what would you do? And he was like, all right, I would watch my favorite movie again for the first time, mm -hmm. right? I wish I could see, or I wish I could play my favorite video game again for the first time, like all the way What's through. What's your favorite video game? 
So what made me think of this was just the joy that I got from freaking playing Black Ops on the Xbox 360 when I was talking about it yeah. like for the first yeah. time. And me and the Randall campaign. playing it before school at 5 a.m. Like, dude. Yeah. And then the multiplayer dude. on Nuketown. Oh, Bro, dude. Yeah. Me and Sean used to, I would go to Sean's house in the morning before school because his mom would drive us to school. And he, we would literally, like, I would get there and he would wake up early so that he could be ready for school and we could play Black Ops for like two hours before we left for school. <laughs> yeah, I, would, I just wish I could go back to those days and start <clears throat> fresh. First dude, day of I was Black Ops multiplayer. Yeah, I was a great student. I was a great student. Never missed a day of school. But I remember skipping school Nerd. to play Blackouts multi Blackouts multiplayer mm -hmm. all day one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, those I, yeah, the, I don't know. The good I don't know times. I, would, I don't know. I think if I <sighs> if I went back in time to play a video game for the first time again, it would it would be uh, the Zelda Ocarina of Time. Have time. Yeah. Yep. I just I know no because that is, is that is. is the greatest video game of all time. Of all time <laughs> yeah, I never you will never convince me otherwise. Now. Yeah, it's so good, dude. And it's just like, like I can go back and play it now, but now I know everything that I need to know. And like, there's nothing. There's look. There's nothing like but playing tell a game me. before there's online forums that tell you how to beat every level. Like, yeah. I didn't have internet back when I played that game, and I yeah. had to freaking grind to figure out how to beat each boss and like figure out how to unlock each door that I needed to unlock and stuff. You know what I mean? Dude, it was I, just like, so I was, I was, oh, a I cheesy agree. Dude, and I would get, I, I would get stuck sometimes. Like I would try not to like, I would try and do it by myself, but I would call my grandma and be like, Hey, cause I didn't have internet and she had internet and a, and a computer, like dial a computer. <laughs> and I'd be like, Hey, could you go online and search Zelda Ocarina of Time walkthrough and find how to get through this level, print it out, and then bring it to me next time you see me. <laughs> Did you ever Please pick up the phone while you were on dial-up? Did y'all ever pick up the phone while you were on dial-up? No. <laughs> no. Internet, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it makes those kind of noises, man. No. It was one of my... I would love it because my grandpa would go upstairs and get on the computer and we had dial-up. And, and I'd get on the phone and just hear that noise. <laughs> no, man. No, I didn't have internet when I was like... Uh, like a kid or like, you know, when I was a preteen or whatever, and I had a really good friend that we played the same game, um, but there wasn't online play for it anyways. So we would call each other on our home phones and just sit and just talk about what we were doing for like hours <laughs> and hours while we were playing this game, dude. Dude, I didn't get I didn't get like legit just, good like, internet until I was 14. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I'm not even joking. I didn't get internet. To where I could, I didn't get internet internet that was good enough to play a video game online until I was fourteen. Yeah, but yeah, I didn't until Randall, I was this topic 18, brought, 18. brought me to to this. I don't know if you, uh, in Assassin's Creed, whenever uh, the Valhalla one, the new one, whenever you go uh, oh, to uh, what's the city called where Odin lives? Um, oh my God, what is it called? And Thor, whatever the city is. Rag, it's not Ragnarok. That's the name of the... Oh, uh, I hate myself. It's the beer, guys. I swear it's the beer. Sean, put your headphones back on for a second. Spoilers, dude. Put your headphones back on for a second. This what? doesn't This doesn't have anything to do. Where, where does, like... What is the land that Odin is in? Or, like... Are you uh, talking like about, Thor like, and where Thor and everyone lives? Y yeah. Oh God! Now I could have memorized it. I could have told you uh, any other time except know, for right now. Dude, no. <laughs> okay, uh, well, you're talking true. about. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We're solving this debate. It's just like how I met your mother. How they used to solve debates before there was internet. Yeah. Okay. We're talking about. It is uh, Asgard. Asgard. All right. Take your headphones back. Boom. Right. Boom. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, no, where you you have to go down the well and you have to move the the beams of light. Yeah. Did you have to use the internet to figure that out? No, I didn't. It was actually really easy for me. Bro, I couldn't figure it out. And there was a like a, a light splitter up top. Like I remember them saying that. Mm -hmm. um, but whenever I was doing that, I was on the call with you. So I was kind of distracted. And I couldn't figure oh, out how to split the light. And I didn't see the, the, the thing up top. So I had to Google it. But um, I have to Google stuff for but, games all the time now. The, the game I have to Google wasn't. most for is Sea of Thieves. 
anytime I get on that game and I'm like, because they have see if these is like an online game mostly, but there is a story behind it. And when you're following the story, you have to go to like all these different locations and there's riddles and stuff. And I'm just like, bro, one, I don't have time for this Two, this is hard, bro. <laughs> Tell me what to do. <laughs> I had to look that up. So, uh, so did either Andrew, did you say your favorite Christmas gift? Yeah, I said two. Remember? What was it? Uh, Xbox 360 and World at War, and um, the experience of playing Goldeneye. Okay, for the first I remember time. you saying Goldeneye, but I didn't know if that was actually a gift. Like, it's a gift of an experience, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Goldeneye changed my life forever, dude. That game was fire. It's on like it's not on the same level with me as uh, Ocarina of Time, but it's like directly underneath it. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say, Randall. So you're saying like we know the story of Ocarina of Time, right? Yeah. You're telling me if they didn't remake Ocarina of Time with the animation of Breath of the Wild, that we would not play through that. Oh, I would play over and over and over and over again. I would play multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now y'all sound like nerds because I don't know what you're talking about. (laughs) Breath of the Wild is the newest Zelda game. Also a very (laughs) great game. I loved that game. I put like 140 hours into that game, dude. Jeez. I put so So much time into that game. Assassin's Creed. What? You started the new Assassin's Creed? Valhalla? Yeah. No, not yet. I can't I, I thought about it. I can get it right now for like thirty nine ninety nine. It's an awesome game, bro. I recommend it. I recommend it. I, dude, I just played Odyssey and Odyssey was like one of my favorite games ever, and I'm like, uh, I don't know if anything can top that. So I never played Odyssey, so I should probably check that game out too. Well But right, anyways. Well, very similar to our favorite gift is now our favorite stocking stuffer, which is a little bit different. You can say it's not, but it is. It's very different to me. It's very, very different. Very, very different. <clears throat> so yes. what is your favorite stocking stuffer to receive, Andrew? Uh, part of me wants to say my mom, ever since I was... She was in a stocking? Like eight, whenever I was like eight years old. And my favorite <laughs> candy my favorite candy was uh, small, Gobstoppers. <laughs> she would always get me a box of Gobstoppers for my stocking stuffer. Oh, yeah, you told us, yeah. Stuffer, and it's like my favorite thing is just like, just to take me back to my childhood. It's a cool, like reminder, you know, it, it, I, I really enjoy it. But if we want to take candy out of it, I don't uh, think we have to. mine's candy. Yeah. Mine's yeah. candy. Dude. Oh, I always get cards, cards yeah. in my stocking and, and, and they're, I love them, dude. Like, get oh, you're telling me I get, to go to, I get to go get a box combo for free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got me a $20 <laughs> <at> McDonald's <laughs> gift card. Heck yeah. <laughs> I get dude, I'm going to buy $20 twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. I, yeah, so that's I love pretty gift awesome. Cards. I do love getting gift cards in the in the old stocking stuffer. You know what? Uh, I'm going to throw mine out there. I'm going to throw mine out okay. there. I just thought y'all didn't want me to go last, so I was going to go next. Yeah, but whatever. Go last. Mine's cooler. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Mine, mine actually sucks. Uh, Freaking, it's going to sound weird, but boxers. Hey, dude, like I'm saying, bro, boxers and socks are the best gift you can get at all. <laughs> That's at a all. good stocking stuffer, dude. You roll, really nice of, you roll up a nice pair of boxers, throw them in there. Nice, mm-hmm. nice fresh pair, soft cotton, not the ones that have been worn or all crusty and stuff. <laughs> yeah, not the used ones. <laughs> the used ones. Suck. Yeah, the used ones for the, when I, when the I hand get me down boxer briefs. Especially when you're a teenager, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, got pre, they got pre-cut holes in them. It's like, the, it's there, like the jeans. Yeah. It, it, those are the best the easiest and best gift you can get for Christmas like maybe not the most exciting thing but just you never want to go buy it and when someone yes. gives it to you you're just like yeah now I've got you it just, sweet you head I'm on really over there to Amazon boxes, head on over there really? to Amazon and get you a nice pair of Calvin Klein boxers and wear those for the rest of your yeah, life it has the to, greatest actually, boxer ever thing, invented it has to be <laughs> Calvin Klein or I don't want them like I've oh, had no, people bro. give me boxes for Christmas and literally I'll throw them in the trash because bro, they're man. not the kind that I wear. Grateful shit. I don't know, man. I could do. I, I never did boxers though. I was a boxer brief. I did. I did boxer. Yeah. Briefs. Well, yeah. Boxer and, brief. But yeah. I wasn't, it's always boxer brief. Fuck, man. Sean, are you a boxer guy or a boxer brief guy? No, nah, dude. I like to. I like to. Free ball. <laughs> no, I just the why do you wait, okay. simply remember? Wait, are briefs are briefs the ones that are like looser or are those the no they're, they're like tight ones? Yeah, briefs are the briefs are the way to go. By the way, yeah. Well, because you got to have that compression I, on your legs, you got to feel the nice cotton on the in, on the inner thigh. 
you know, the reason I ask is because I, I I distinctly remember one time you came to visit me in college, and you walked in to use the restroom and you had straight up like plaid boxers on. Yeah, bro, those are the ones I got for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and I just wear those and, with the Calvin Klein. You, walk, you walked in, you walked in, and these like, things were man. like like three quarter length to the knee. And these are boxers, <laughs> and I look at you, I'm like. God dang, is this guy like 35? <laughs> like, you know? Yeah. Dude, you wear them from the Cowboys are dirty. Yeah, I guess my skin was never like uppity up. You're like, yo, I was, man, I was fine with the Hanes and the Fruit of the Looms, dude. <laughs> well, yeah, back in it. the day, that's what I wore. When I started buying my own underwear, it was the Calvins. <laughs> yeah, you gotta dude, stay sleazy once, in once, the Calvins. Once you put on a pair of Calvin Klein boxer briefs, dude, your life will change forever. I don't know. Your I nudes are never the same. Yeah, nope, exactly. I got one <laughs> pair. I whenever I was in high school, I went and bought one pair of boxer briefs from um American Eagle. I got a, I got a pair of boxer briefs from there, dude. I wore those things all the freaking time. Yeah, dude. I don't care. <laughs> Until the hole formed in the crotch. And then I was still like <laughs> No, the hole no Randall, Randall. Be honest with everybody. The hole didn't form in the crotch, dude. You wore it, you wore those every single day, bro. You burnt that hole in the cross, dude. <laughs> All them toots, bro. <laughs> no, you bro. know that's what happened. No, it was you in the, it was them enough like, where it finally gave out. It was in the freaking gooch area, actually. Right in between and the they you know, travel. The, yeah, exactly. But no. I, I never dude, I, I I just, I'm just place. saying. I don't care who you are. You could be five one, four fifty. You still looking sexy in a pair of nice boxer briefs. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. It's facts, bro. Next I level. Care. I don't care. Now, if you're, you're, now if you're five one, cone, you know. If, if you're five one four fifty in a pair of boxers, you're not gonna look the same. No. Nope. You know? Nope. Not you're not gonna look like you belong in boxers. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you belong somewhere. <laughs> uh, I think. Well, you know, he, five one four fifty in a pair of boxer briefs. You look like Patrick when he jumped off the diving board into the snow cone or into the ice cream tip. Exactly. I, just, about. Exactly. I just thought about this when you all say five one four fifty. That's that's a big man. That's, that's a hefty. round man. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, he yeah, is bro. shopping in the big and tall. Like, he's just shopping in the big section. He's shopping, he's shopping in the short and wide section, brother. <laughs> no, that's when you that's when you got to buy them like triple XLs and tuck the shirts in. You know, what I mean, like, he's got to yeah. buy the triple XLs but get it tailored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 my favorite stocking stuffer, like I said, is is candy. It's kind of like Andrew's, but uh, every year my dad gets all of us these. It's the it's M and M's. It's just like regular M and M's, but it's in the like candy cane, the plastic candy cane. Oh yeah, dude. dude. Oh yeah. And the best thing, look, listen, dude. It's plastic. not it's not the candy that is the best part to me because I'm not really a huge fan of M and M's personally. It's how you can I'm, use the cane as a weapon when you it's how it know. sticks well, out of the it's, <laughs> it's how it sticks out of the stocking. Yes, it's how it sticks out of the stocking. That's a good point too. Being able to use it as a weapon to fight. <laughs> it's also, you, always, you don't know when you're gonna need it. Yeah. But no, the best part is the delivery system of it. Because you take the little candy cane plastic top off oh, yeah, and it's a dump. tube, you just pour it into your mouth, dude. It's it's amazing. You don't know the best part about the mini M Ms and the tube all the time. Yeah, but this is oh. on a larger scale. I forgot. Yes. It is. Oh my god. It yeah. is. It's like three it times. It's like as many. shopping. It's like shopping at Sam's, bro. It's like a it's yeah. like a it's, full yes, quarter. Exactly. This candy this M M&M M candy cane thing is the Sam's Club. And the other M M&M M pouch is the Walmart. That's right. Exactly. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'm holding. Does your Santa hat have a bell in the tip? No, that's my metal straw hitting against my That's a straw, yeah. Oh, okay. Got you. Damn. Oh, keep, going, gonna... keep going, Randall. Keep like, going, Randall. Keep going. Screenshot. It. Screenshot. Screen record. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, well, that, that brings us to the end. We have to pick a winner, guys. Oh. And I know it's a, it, has been a, it has been a long journey to this point. It has. The craziest part about this is that the last time I had this Shiner Holiday Cheer was three weeks ago when we did the first episode. And I've wanted to have more oh my of them. God. The, I've that long have, ago? Yeah. I've wanted to have more of Jeez. them ever since, and I haven't. I've been holding out for this. After we had we had some people over like two weeks ago, and Andrew, Andrew was there. 
and, and like everyone was drinking and stuff. And I was like, look, drink whatever you want. You just are not allowed to drink the Christmas ale or the Trider. I was like, just leave those. <laughs> just leave those alone. <laughs> I need those as back it's, stock. It's, it's cool to go to Sean's house because he, he really does have all the leftovers of the beer. So you can just take a trip down memory lane. I think the only ones that I, well, no, I finished all the conspiracy theories too, pretty much that week. I, really I got two left. Um, well, I'll go ahead and pick my winner if y'all don't mind. Yeah, go oh, first. Okay. Brother. I'm, I'm nervous. What is it? So I, uh, I'm, I'm going to give, I'm going to give my choice and then give my explanation. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to push on. The uh, the Christmas sale, ye old Christmas sale, baby. That's it right there. Drum Yeo. roll, please. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't. I I really thought that the Shiner Holiday Cheer was gonna be my favorite. If I'm being honest, from what I remembered of past episodes and just of my past, but I think it's a little too much for me. Like it, like y'all, y'all kind of said at the beginning, it's like it's really has a lot of like aroma or like a you know what did you say? A perfumey taste. I thought you couldn't hear that. Yeah, no, I could. Yeah, I guess you you were just muted. Uh, I don't know. mm. Drinking it again today, it was it just it just felt so so much more. You know, it felt so overpowering. I felt like it's trying to do too much. It was like too sweet. For me, I feel like they made a beer and then they just were like, "Oh, we want a Christmas beer," and they injected it with freaking <laughs> Christmas. But, yeah, they took yeah. they took your mom's no, candle, yeah. heated it up, yeah, they took some put, put it in the and then put it in the beer. Yeah, it was it was like that's exactly what it tastes like. That's it not was an like exaggeration to anyone who's listening and hasn't had it, this. That's exactly what it tastes like. It's good. It's, it's good. Made it for the finale, but like. It's very it's good. It's very delicious, but it's like it's almost like you're drinking a bowl of potpourri. Like, yeah. like that's how potent it is. Yes, I'll be honest with you. That's the most accurate description I've ever heard you say about a beer. Yes, you know it is right. And yeah, as it, I mean, obviously, you know, on a normal, on a, on a normal occasion, I wouldn't let it sit this long. But as it's gotten warmer, that aroma has kind of gotten worse. Or like not worse, but like um, stronger. Stronger, yeah. Whereas like the Christmas ale hasn't changed at all. It's, it's still it's, delicious. It's yeah, but, but yeah. Oh no, 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 yeah. They're still very good. This this holiday cheer is still one of my favorites. I'm just, I think the Christmas ale is better, man. And I thought it, for sure I was gonna pick the holiday cheer. Yeah, but it did sway me from the first sip almost. Yeah, and that's <laughs> not. That's just. That you don't even have to factor in like can or no, design. I think the Christmas ale has like a cooler that, can just, too. Yeah, just uh, so do I. St. Arnold is dressed like Santa, which throws it over the top for me. And I don't, I don't have to give. No, him he's dressed like Saint know. Nicholas. Yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Obviously, mine is ye old Christmas ale. There we go. So it moves on, no matter what Andrew says. Yeah, you're so, absolutely all right. That's terrible. the end of the episode, guys. Andrew's opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> like all, no, just... <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree with what you said. <laughs> no, Andrew, uh, I want to hear yours. What do you What do you think? No, yeah. What do you think? Well, boys, I'm making it unanimous. Let's go. All For right. The second week in a row. All right. We're going unanimous, and the winner, the star on the tree this year for Christmas beers, is the St. Arnold Ye Old Christmas Ale. Springboard from the couch. This is your winner right, right here. If you're going to be <laughs> hanging out with your, proofs. if you're going to, if you're going to be hanging out with your family this Christmas, you make sure that you have a freaking cooler full of these bad boys right here. Mm-hmm. And it's seven and a half percent. So you'll soon forget that you're hanging out with family and you'll be hanging out with your best friends. Yeah. That's <laughs> another factor. I didn't even think of exactly. until just now. It's, it's even more alcohol content. So you drink less and get more, baby. You know what I mean? Yeah, or maybe I feel like that, I feel get like even that more. A lot of you're getting a better bargain. You're getting yeah. a better bargain, better taste, hey, better hey, taste. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's well, it's it's the one right there. Santa drinks this. That's it. He told me we've done it. Wow, hey, really? Wait, we need it. I just yeah, skimmed over I, that. I don't... 
Yeah, I wrote him last week, and he wrote me back and he said, "Yep, you should pick the old Christmas ale because that's what I drink." And I was like, "Okay, Santa." Wow. Wow. Well, yeah, I feel like you should have told us that before this started. Yeah, but then that would have been biased. So I that's kept true. It that's true. Good point. Well, I'm glad I agree with Santa. Me too. The jolliest man of all. Well, I I, I don't agree with Santa, but I agree with Santa Claus. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> when y'all said that earlier. I don't know if y'all ever did this. Did y'all ever watch uh, in your government classes in high school the documentary about uh, Guantanamo Bay? What the hell does that have to do with Santa? No, I didn't. I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> and so this 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 guard. No, dude. The funniest part of it. You haven't even All heard right. the funniest part. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, go. So. The guard at Guantanamo Bay is wheeling around the, the library cart, right? Because they're giving all the inmates books to read. And this one guy wants the newest Harry Potter book. So they give him a Harry Potter book, but it's not the newest one. It's like the second newest one. And he's like, this isn't the newest Harry Potter book. And they're like, yes, it is. And he goes, if this is the newest Harry Potter, bo- Harry Potter book, I am Santa. I am Santa Claus. <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like he, his grip on American culture is I want the newest Harry Potter book, and if you don't give it to me, I'm Santa. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Of you to have, dude. <laughs> Some dude from Guantanamo Bay shows up and comes down my chimney. He's not going to be Santa for any longer. Than that. <laughs> I'm, I'm Santa. Saying. That's what he said. I'm not trying to be like. He goes. This is what he sounded like too. He goes, "If this is new Harry Potter book, I'm Santa." I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus. Well, I actually am Santa Claus of this episode. So, you know, if you want to be uh, put on the nice list this year, you should go over to Twitter and follow us at Off the Tap Pod, where you can communicate with us. Wait. And did you also know that we have a Patreon at Off the Tap Podcast? Patreon.com forward slash Off the Tap Podcast. Did you know that? Oh, wow. That's crazy. Have the elves been working on that one? They have, yeah. Elves have been working hard. They have. They designed the whole the whole page and everything. Wow, it must be incredible. It is. It's it's almost as great as the Twitter. And the only reason it's less great is because Ranta Claus runs the Twitter. So elves will never be as good as Santa. It's a very yeah. it's a very strange. Ranta Claus Ranta Claus kills the Twitter game. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you guys. I mean, but, uh, <laughs> nah, mm. all right. Well, we did it, guys. <laughs> Uh, Dude, I was so excited for this week. Me too. I've been ready for it. Like I said, I've been saving these beers ever since we had them the first time. So, well, to each one of you <laughs> listeners, I love you, and I will begin my advertisements once we come out with merch. Uh, but I love you, and I want you to get this yield Christmas ale for your family party this year. Mm. And Hashtag. Have a very merry Christmas, everybody. And just remember. If you ain't getting dirty, you ain't, you ain't getting far enough. You ain't getting far enough. Also, oh, dude, I can't wait to lean also, in mic next week. All right, guys, look forward to me having a mic next week. You're going to hear my sultry voice. <laughs> also, you know, <laughs> I don't know if you can cut this or you can't cut this, but you need just the extra some bonus content. You, ever since you talked about Guantanamo, Guantanamo, Bay, Guantanamo yeah. Bay Santa, dude, all I can think about is this dude sliding down my chimney and goes, Hello. Have you heard about the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? <laughs> <laughs>